Well, today's the fourth anniversary of kicking off the Measure A campaign back in 1992. Uh, Measure A, as people might remember, was our local medical marijuana initiative that was passed by county voters by 77%. Uh, today we're using the occasion of our fourth anniversary to kick off a new statewide initiative campaign for the 1996 California Compassionate Use Act. Um, the act would exempt patients and defined caregivers from health and safety code violations that prohibit marijuana's possession, cultivation, and use if they have a prescription from their doctor. Thank you. Now Scott Imler, who founded the organization, says the group is not trying to legalize pot for all purposes, unlike the hemp movement. He says the main goal is to keep patients who need the drug out of the criminal justice system. Sharon. Yeah! yeah. yeah. would look like or what decriminalization or whatever you want to call it would look normalization what that would look like and until they can explain that to parents who are worried about their kids getting a hold of this herb and you know it turning them into a heroin addict is is a, you know as erroneous as that that might be that's the perception and you know the government's number one issue one number one argument against us for medical marijuana is that young people will get the wrong message and, you know, I think we have an obligation, if we want to see our reforms enacted, to take those concerns seriously. And unless we do, we won't get anywhere. You know, marijuana is a powerful medicine, and it should be used carefully. It should be used, you know, respectfully. And, yeah, with caution, like you'd use any other medicine. We're organizing to gather petitions for the uh, Californians for Compassionate Use Medical Marijuana Initiative for 1996. We need a lot of signatures, and we have about a month right now to collect. Is that Andrea? 20,000, I think, 20,000 signatures we need to collect in the next four weeks. Andrea, was that 20,000 signatures we well, needed in the next that's four right. weeks? We're going to be, uh, you know, we're trying to get our quota for the county. 20,000 signatures, we need an army out there of uh, signature gatherers, volunteers, and paid petitioners. If anybody is interested in becoming a paid petitioner or volunteer, they can come to the Cannabis Buyers Club on Wednesdays, Wednesday afternoons from 1.30 until 4.30. What's the address? 201 Maple Street. Just come up the ramp, the wheelchair ramp on the side, and we'll be there, and we're going to train people to collect signatures uh, for the petition. And we're going to also, for people who have paid, have uh, completed uh, forms, they want to get paid for each signature, 25 cents per signature. We need a lot of people to do this. The Medical Marijuana Initiative, the statewide initiative that is trying to qualify on the 96, November 96 ballot, the medical marijuana initiative. What we need to do is collect 600,000 600, signatures before April the 15th in order to qualify this initiative on the ballot. At that point, well, we're not at that point yet. At this point where we are, we need to gather 20,000 signatures in the next 30 days, was that? Within the next month. And to do this, we're mobilizing as many people in the Santa Cruz area as possible to join in. We're also pleased to uh, add that we're able to pay 25 cents per signature uh, as people are collecting them and helping mm -hmm. to qualify this. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is we're encouraging people to uh, become volunteers to collect signatures or paid signature gatherers. And uh, at the Cannabis Buyers Club, in Santa Cruz at 201 Maple Street, we're training people how to become signature gatherers for this petition. And uh, on Wednesdays, between 1.30 and 4.30, we're going to be here, Jeff and I are the co-coordinators of uh, the Santa Cruz uh, uh, campaign, and uh, we're going to be training people and collecting the completed petitions and paying people 25 cents per signature, per valid signature, 
uh, for uh, this campaign. So come on down. One From the Redwood Forest to the Green Water, this land was made for you and me. As I was walking that ribbon of highway, I saw above me that in the skyway. Well, uh, what do you guys think about uh, Proposition 215, the medical use of marijuana for the uh, November election? Uh, I think it's a good idea because, I mean, I've heard that it heals a lot. People, like when they're sick or if they get in a car accident or something. So. I think uh, they spend too much money trying to keep it illegal and uh, like camp and how they got a $200,000 uh, uh, money thing or whatever that was, new helicopters and all that. They're just spending way too much money on it and uh, if they did legalize it, uh, I think the uh, U.S. government would make a lot of money doing it in the process. What do you feel about the Proposition 215 initiative for medical use of marijuana on the November ballot. Okay, personally, I think that marijuana should not be legal because I just think that it's a bad drug and I don't think that people should do it even if it is used for medical purposes because there are other medical drugs that could be used for it and if they make marijuana legal then people are just going to think it's all good to smoke pot just to get high and then they'll make up excuses for why they need to smoke it and they won't really need it for medical uses because I know people that have done this already. So that's all I have to say. Okay. <laughs> what do you think about Proposition 215 on the November ballot for the medical use of marijuana? I think I'm glad that uh, somebody's made a proposition and, and put it to the voters. Uh, personally, I think, you know, my, my position on marijuana is. Uh, all of its use is medicinal, and I really don't think the government should be constraining its use, <clears throat> you know, when they're allowing drug companies who are basically paying them a lot of money to sell their drugs, which have, you know, extremely negative side effects on a fairly high percentage of the people who take them when marijuana has very limited side effects on anyone who uses it. It's a big scam as far as I'm concerned, the whole control, the FDA, the control of drugs and who says what. It's all about billions of dollars changing hands between drug companies and, you know, the government. <clears throat> Personally, I think everybody should, you know, take any drugs they like without anybody's approval, you know, and if they can handle them, great. If they can't, then somebody ought to, you know, let them know. <laughs> That's my opinion. The question today is what do you feel about the Proposition 215 on the, it's the initiative for the medical use of, medical use of marijuana uh, on the November ballot in California? What do you think? Legalizing it? Legalizing it for medical use. No, not Mariah Carey or Madonna. I'm here to talk about that initiative about medical marijuana. It could be the answer. Now, Mr. Politician, maybe the next life you'll be laying in bed with cancer.
Yeah. The Tylenol ain't doing it at all. Mar medical marijuana, it's the, it's the way. Governor Wilson, all we need is your okay. Kind of made him think. Well, before, well, Governor Wilson, before you sign it, talk to your shrink. Because this ain't Hogan's Heroes, and you ain't Colonel Clink. Uh, I think the initiative is a really good thing. And I'm a living uh, uh, example. Because I've been smoking pot for longer than any man alive. I, I like to challenge the whole world. Because I was seven years old when I started, and I had never stopped. The only time I stopped, I couldn't get it. And listen, it's not uh, to kill people. You don't get no urge to hurt people. You want to make love so you get high or turn somebody on with happiness and, and just hug them and, and massage them and make them feel good. And listen, I've had two heart attacks, and... Uh, my doctor told me I had to stop smoking cigarettes and, 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 and marijuana. He told me I had to stop making love. I said, well, listen, I am not going to stop marijuana. I'm going to smoke until I drop, and I ain't going to stop. And I ain't going to put no girls down either, because uh, one is not that great without the other. Now, about how long, I said, I've been doing it. How, how many years do is it, when I was seven, I'd be 70 next month. How many years is that? 63. I've been doing it 53 years and I... 63. Huh? 63. 63 years and I got two heart attacks and I got a good heart here and I can whoop uh, 17 people. And, and, and it without, not without a uh, hit of marijuana. <laughs> Folks, it's not only magic, it gives you strength, it gives you, it gets rid of stress, uh, uh, unhappiness, uh, uh, negativity, it, it, it's the most uh, beautiful uh, uh, antidote there is in the world. And I, will, and I won't stop till I drop. And I'm going to tell you how good it is to smoke it, yeah. And I say, I can imagine that I'm taking it. I can imagine that I'm smoking it and get a rush. And I can smell somebody else smoking a block away and get a rush. It gets busy and tend to my business and my mind and everything comes back to me.